my air conditioner just went on by itself. Hello my starlings and welcome back to my channel. Chris Starr here. I wanted to share today's sponsor, California Psychics. I am so excited to get to work with them again. I worked with California Psychics back in November and I got a reading done by my girl Scarlett. This is the second time that I've had the chance to speak to her so I wanted to reflect back on my last reading up until this point because some of the things that she had told me back in November are actually starting to happen. What I love so much about California Psychics is how reliable they are and it's super discreet and confidential. Sometimes we just need a listening ear, somebody to talk to, and sometimes a complete stranger is really good for that and a complete stranger that can give you some spiritual guidance and help. They have psychic advisors on call 24-7 available via chat or by phone, whatever you're more comfortable with. Back in November, she told me that I was currently planting the seeds to my future and things would start to come to fruition in the new year. You guys know that I opened up my spiritual Etsy shop, The Crystalline Soul, and it was something back in November that I was really avidly working on. And I was putting all of my energy and focus into that, but it was really scary because when you're starting up a new project, you just don't really know how it's going to go. My intuition was telling me that this is absolutely what I need to do. This is what I'm meant to do with my life to help guide people on their spiritual journeys. And it just felt so right, but at the same time, I had a lot of anxiety about it. Scarlett was really able to give me the much needed confidence that I needed to continue pushing forward. Now, fast forward until now, she told me that everything that I had been working for with the project that she mentioned back in November is coming to fruition. And she told me this is the part that gets me she specifically said your angels are telling me to tell you to not get tired of it because this is what you're meant to do with your life and I have had that feeling which is why I have pushed through everything through hell and back to get this shop open I mean I have been battling some of the most severe health issues and I am still pushing through because I know that this is my purpose and it gives me so much joy and fulfillment to be able to give you guys knowledge about spiritual tools and spiritual guidance in general. Scarlett was able to give me a timeline into my immediate future, January, February, being a time of a lot of obstacles, but still being able to persevere through it. She said, you will get through the struggles, but the darkness that you felt, you will finally start to come out of. You will no longer feel like you're drowning, which is the best way I can describe how I felt. It is really important to note though, guys, that you have your own free will and ultimately your life is up to you. Just because a psychic advisor may tell you something, it does not necessarily mean that it will happen. Their job is to map out the road in front of you. And let's say you're going down a path that you may not want to be going down. They can help you maneuver through those roadblocks and those obstacles, which is what Scarlett was able to help me do. They're able to see what is directly in front of you if you continue down the current path that you are taking. Whether that's good or whether that's bad, but again, they can give you some clarity to help handle situations better or to continue on the path that you are on. If you guys are interested in getting your own reading with California Psychics, you can get $5 added to your first purchase with my code Chris5 online or through the app. Thank you so much, California Psychics, for partnering with me for today's video. Now, before we begin today's video, I just wanted to say that it has been a really weird time. I'm going through this massive transformation and I constantly say that I'm not done with the paranormal because I truly don't feel like I am. I'm a very, very spiritual being and that very much ties into who I am as a person. But I think in 2022, my big focus is to shift my content in the energy that I'm putting out 
into my spirituality. So I really wanted to sit down and finally share the experiences that I had when I first started going through my spiritual awakening when I was 25 years old. But first we're gonna go all the way back to my childhood because when I was little, I did not fit in for obvious reasons. People did not understand spirituality as well as they do now. People were not on board, I guess we should say. And I was very lucky because I was raised in an environment where I was able to truly embrace who I am. I was really lucky I was able to embrace what I was truly feeling and the spiritual things that were happening to me as a child because my aunt is also sensitive and she helped raise me and I grew up in a haunted house where things were constantly happening and whereas most parents or parental figures will tell their children that well, a ghost isn't real don't worry about it it's you know there's some sort of logical explanation for it my aunt was sitting there telling me her ghost stories telling me what she was seeing and experiencing and I wouldn't have had it any other way if I think it helped to shape me into the person I am. You know, back then I didn't really necessarily understand what was happening. I just knew I was completely obsessed with the paranormal and I was having a lot of spiritual experiences. I used to see things, I used to talk about things, things I can't even remember. My aunt will tell me stories and I'm like, I can't even believe that I said that. You know, fast forward a little bit, my teenage years were really difficult as well. I, I had a really, I had a really rough childhood and my teenage years weren't much better. But by the time I had become a teenager, I feel like I had blocked so much of it out because I was trying to find myself. I was trying to fit in with people that I was never going to fit in with. And you know, back then we're, we're so desperate to have friends and, and we're so desperate to fit into society. And it took me until I was about 25 years old to say, F it. Like, I do not care about fitting in. I don't care about having friends who make fun of me and my spirituality. It is what it is. And I'm totally fine with being alone. When I was 25, I was working at Apple. It was my dream job. I worked in an environment with people who were open-minded to everything but what I was experiencing and going through. I really couldn't talk about the paranormal to many people I worked with and I kind of just kept my mouth shut about it. But as soon as I turned 25, I ended up getting really freaking sick. I was diagnosed with a really rare neurological disorder back then. I was experiencing crippling migraines, um, pain throughout my body, which felt like nerve pain. It was just really unusual. Came out of nowhere. Still to this day, I couldn't even tell you what it was for sure. I'm just telling you that that was my diagnosis. I was seeing a neurologist. It was it was very intense and he took me out of work and he put me on disability. I would lay in bed every single night and cry myself to sleep. I truly felt like I was dying. I, I truly felt like there was something so wrong with me and the doctors were not finding it and they just kept blaming it on everything else autoimmune disease neurological disorder then they even speculated ms they speculated all these different things fibromyalgia i mean you name it i've been through it i've been through the diagnosis they've speculated it, it was just a complete shit show i had no answers I, I was so stressed out i felt so entirely alone now the reason i share all of this with you is because when people go through their spiritual awakening they oftentimes have a tower moment. A tower moment is when everything comes crashing down. The tower card in tarot indicates extreme change, usually things that are against your own free will, things that are supposed to happen. The change is necessary, basically, and I was not on the path that I was supposed to be on, and it's, it's very clear. I was working for a, a major tech corporation, and I wasn't able to be myself. I This is previously before I even started YouTube. So yeah, it, it's like all of these things had to happen in, in order for me to get on the path that I was supposed to be on. And as traumatic as some of those things were and as painful as those things were, that was such a major time of reflection for me. And I was having the craziest spiritual experiences and revelations that nobody could relate to at the time. I was not friends with any of the people that you guys see in my life currently. I didn't have people I could talk to about this and I felt so alone. I, I actually felt like I was freaking crazy for such a big part of that year because things were coming to me in my sleep and during the day and I was feeling these sensations throughout my body. I'm gonna tell you guys about the time where I met my spirit guide. And a lot of you guys ask, how do I meet my spirit guide, Chris? And the thing is, sometimes we're not ready to. 
and they will come to you when you are ready. I was very connected to my uncle, Kenny. He died when I was a teenager. He was very spiritual as well. He is one of my angels. He is one of my spirit guides. And I know that because every psychic reading I've ever had brings him up by his name and his nickname actually. So it's even more real when they, when they bring him up by Kenny because his real name was Thomas. I was living in the house that I'm living in now and I felt like I lifted, like I, I, I was, having an out of body experience basically because I could see myself sleeping. I, I li completely lifted out of my body and I could feel the vibration, the sensation that was so overwhelming. It was almost painful. And I was floating above my bed watching myself sleep. It's like I blinked and I was in my parents' house in their dining room with the light on. It was dark, it was nighttime. My uncle Kenny was sitting there with his legs crossed and his hands just folded over like this, resting on his lap. And I looked over to the right and there was this beautiful, radiating woman who was wearing a red hooded cloak. She lifted the cloak so I could see her. She had these beautiful emerald green eyes and like olive color skin. She didn't tell me her name. She actually didn't speak. Neither did my uncle Kenny. I walked up to her and I physically felt her touch my chest and touch my heart. And she telepathically communicated to me and said, anything that you have ever desired, you can have. She said, just follow what's in here. It was weird. I was like, why, why is she telling me this? What, what is the message, you know? And I think the message was really important during that time because I was really going through this paralyzing moment where I was giving up everything, everything I knew. I was shifting into a totally different direction and she was trying to encourage me to pursue the things that I wanted to do. And I always knew that I wanted to do YouTube and document my experiences. And I always knew that I wanted to help be a guiding light for other people. I just didn't know in which way. So about a year later is when I did actually quit Apple for good. And I drove down to Virginia Beach and I met up with James and Omar. And that is the week that changed my life forever. I continued to have very spiritual experiences but mostly in my sleep. Over the years, my psychic abilities have grown very strong. My intuition tells me things that are usually very accurate and I'm currently in the process of getting back into that because my energy was so low and I was going through, you know, like just the craziest shit. So in a way I was blocked. I was blocked from having spiritual experiences. So because I was going through so much negative shit, I was super blocked and I stopped having spiritual experiences. But when I had met Omar and James, I had a lot more to look forward to because I now had people that were genuinely passionate about the paranormal and getting out and exploring, which was such a big passion of mine. I just never had anybody to do it with. So looking back on what my guide was telling me in that experience when I astral projected to my mom's house and saw my uncle she was telling me that anything that i desire i can have and something you guys don't know about me is i have been urban exploring and into the paranormal my entire life in high school i used to urban explore to the craziest places and i always wish that i had a group of friends that i could do that with and i just wanted to touch on too the reason i think my uncle kenny was there was to make me feel more comfortable meeting my spirit guide because it was a very intense situation the feeling that i had upon waking was was almost painful and at the time like i said i was going to a neurologist so i even went in a couple days later and i asked him i said why am i waking up feeling this vibration i said it's like my body's vibrating i'm not trembling i'm not shaking my body is vibrating although i was diagnosed with that neurological disorder there was a lot of ambiguity around it he really wasn't certain if that was it for sure and he was always trying to help me figure out different ways for treating the pain that i was feeling even if it meant non-medically like holistically he looked at me and he said did it cross your mind that this could be something spiritual i i didn't know that your spiritual needs like i'm not He's like, I just don't know what it could be because there, there's nothing medically that could be making you feel like you're vibrating upon waking. I looked it up word for word. I, I think something along the lines of vibrating upon waking, right? And there was all these forms, nothing that really had to do with any sort of medical condition. It was all people that were having these incredible spiritual experiences. Now I did have an out of body experience twice before.
my air conditioner just went on by itself and my air purifier oh my god i have i have goosebumps because i was told the other day by a friend who is also psychic that that my angels are urging me to focus more on my spirituality and here i am sitting down telling you guys things that i've never shared with a freaking soul and things are turning on in my house thank you for the message i, I just feel so like divinely supported right now like i'm getting almost emotional because it's such a beautiful feeling just turn that off really quick so that you guys can actually hear me that was i mean not weird i'm not surprised i've had a couple out of body experiences before and i do remember that feeling it's this weightless feeling and i did feel that vibration i do remember it was many years ago so after looking back i was like oh my god this makes so much sense and everybody online was sharing that when they have out of body experiences or when they astral project that's what they feel because our soul is physically leaving our body and we still are connected to our body because if we weren't then we would die so there is this cord this spiritual cord that we are still connected to but while we're having an out of body experience it's important to note that we are raising our vibration we are now leaving the 3d realm in the 3d realm we can't, we don't have the capacity to see these things we don't have the ability to physically see energy and i am now vibrating at a higher frequency to get out of the 3d world i am now entering the 4d oh my gosh so i had to sit down again this is like later on just to add this part in i cannot even believe that i forgot to mention this like really chris and the core of who i am and i forget to mention it uh, this is like the biggest piece of what i even wanted to talk about so th th this is how my life goes just so you guys know so right around the time i was going to the neurologist and i was having all of these weird things happening to me in my sleep i started to be visited by my angels my spirit guides now these are guides that i have actually never met i've only met my one spirit guide and i don't even know her name which is crazy i still have yet to know her name a lot of nights i would cry myself asleep I would lay in my bed and like really I, I thought I was dying it felt like I was dying I was in so much pain and nothing was helping the one night that I remember so vividly and it was so beautiful I do have to say this happened on multiple occasions but this one time I remember so vividly because I, I guess it was so meaningful I'd fallen asleep and I was I was astral projecting over my body and I was watching myself sleep and I was looking around my room and floating above me was this big orb of energy it was actually like a greenish blue color the vibration was so strong it was uncomfortable and i i think it was so uncomfortable because it's so unfamiliar i was telepathically being told how loved i was and it was so emotional that i felt myself fall back into my body and when i had woken up i jolted out of bed the vibration was still there i was kind of coming back into this 3d realm and i was so emotional because the feeling of that unconditional love that they were radiating to me is something that i've never felt on earth i've never felt that in this lifetime and i think they were just trying to tell me that everything is temporary including our time here and our life does not define us, neither does the pain or the hardship. And I'm never truly alone. You are truly never alone. That will stick with me for the rest of my life. Around this time is when I discovered that I am a starseed. I believe that many of you guys are a starseed. A starseed is a highly advanced spiritual being that comes from another star system and i know that may sound crazy to some people and I, I know a lot of you guys do identify as a star seed because i have talked about this in previous videos but energy is energy it can't be destroyed so when we leave our human body we definitely do not just disappear energy does move on elsewhere i could definitely make an entire video about star seeds if you guys are interested in that and the different types of star seeds and the different star systems and origins but i will save that for another video i have always felt like i don't belong anywhere i've been no matter where i go california florida 
no matter where i'm constantly on the go because i'm trying to find what feels like home and that same night that i had that experience with the orb above myself sleeping i finally decided i was like you know what maybe i'm not alone in this feeling maybe somebody else feels this way i had no idea what a star seed was i've never heard of it until that night i think i searched word for word feeling homesick for a place i don't even know exists and that literally popped up with the word starseed it was like word for word feeling homesick for a place you don't even know exists i've felt that way my entire life it's this nostalgia but it's but i'm not nostalgic for an experience or a place that i've been or something that i've had it's something that i'm longing for that's missing and i i can't quite put my finger on it and that's because i have spent a lot of time elsewhere i've spent a lot of time away from earth i do believe i have a very specific purpose here and it took me a very long time to get on the correct path so with everything that's happened it has led me here and i do have to have gratitude for it because i finally feel like me i feel like my soul is doing its purpose i feel like i'm in the position to start helping and guiding people on their spiritual journeys and star seeds are really here to raise the vibration of earth because there really is so much evil and corruption these experiences changed my life and i started to look at life so much differently but when i was 25 that's when everything changed and although it was such a hard time in my life i'm so grateful because it's like that had to happen to pull me off the path that I was on to put me on the right path and I'm sure so many of you guys can actually relate to what I'm saying. Let me know down below in the comments are there was there a time where something catastrophic happened and it changed your life for the better? That's a tower moment when we experience change that we do not want but it puts us on a path for bigger and better things so currently what's up with me what what's going on with my spirituality i've been blocked all of 2021 2022 i am certain that i will be back on the spiritual path that i am supposed to be on i would love to get to the point where i can do readings for you guys and give you more spiritual advice that is something that i really see for myself in 2022 I'm confident that I can get to that point. It just takes a lot of inner work. I need to raise my vibration to be able to help other people. And although I have so much shit going on, things are so terrible at the moment, I do have to wake up and find peace in every single day. In order to raise my vibration, I need to wake up and still have a moment of gratitude. What am I grateful for today? Is it the song by Stevie Nicks that popped on out of nowhere to, you know, give me a boost of energy and spiritual confidence for the day? Or is it the fact that I woke up and she was still sleeping in my arms? I just have been taking the time to recognize those small moments of happiness. And I really recommend that you guys take the time to thank the universe for the things that you do have in your life. Sometimes I feel like I am unfairly judged. I feel like there's people that watch me and think I have a perfect life and I'm rich and I have money and I'm healthy and I'm happy and I'm doing all these things and the reality is I'm not. The reality is I am struggling with health issues, struggling with mental health issues. Because of that, my money situation is affected. Lots going on with my family, you know, lots going on with my cat, my car, the list goes on. But I'm always very transparent with you guys, not because I want sympathy or empathy. I'm transparent with you guys because I want you to know that I want to be the example for people that are struggling because I know how easy it is to feel so alone in this world when things get really bad and you get really down and it's like a whirlwind, right? It's like things just keep happening over and over and you cannot keep your head above the water. I know that feeling and I'm working on it every single day. I'm not there yet, but I'm working on it and I want you guys to work on it with me. So for those that are struggling and suffering, whatever it is, I want you guys to wake up tomorrow and take a moment to thank the universe for something that you have. I know mind over matter is so much easier said than done. Trust me, like, I don't wanna hear it ever from anybody. I'll be the first person to be like, please, I do not wanna hear it. Like, I, I need to process my emotions. And it's totally fine to process those emotions, but I want to encourage you guys to be the best version of yourself in this lifetime. We choose to come here, believe it or not, our soul 
does choose to come here for a very specific reason and some people have really good lives and other people have really hard lives and even though you have a hard life doesn't mean you can't enjoy it it might just take a little bit more effort for you to get the life that you want and that's totally fine that only strengthens your soul that strengthens who you are as a person in this lifetime and therefore that carries over to the next with all of that being said if you guys made it this far thank you so much i really would love to know what other content you might want to see from me like i said i would love to eventually do readings for you guys tarot card readings if there's any other videos that you might want to see let me know down below i really want to start branching out more into to my spirituality. I would really love to help enlighten and guide those that may be struggling. The Crystalline Soul will be restocking soon. I know I've been saying that, but January was just the worst month of my life, really. Like I truly mean that thus far. So slow and steady, but it is coming. I have been working diligently. I have been working so hard and pushing through everything to bring you guys some of the most amazing goodies. It's gonna be loads of crystals, new spiritual kits, and of course a ton of crystal necklaces. Make sure that you guys are following the Crystalline Soul on Instagram. I will link everything down below Below in the description and if you guys are interested in getting a reading with California psychics that information will be down below as well I would love to hear about your reading so that's gonna do it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and letting me open up to you about my spiritual experiences I really hope that I can continue doing this with you guys and I will catch you super soon peace out starlings